Hi, my name is Sunil Pai. Uh, I'm a principal systems engineer at Cloudflare, and I work on the AI agents uh, project. Uh, we are here in the Cloudflare London office. I'm in the UK myself. Uh, and uh, one thing that uh, you should want, one of my favorite uh, releases from this week was uh, the Wheat plugin, which seems like a fairly small thing, but it opens up using Cloudflare workers with all your favorite front-end frameworks and libraries and CSS. Uh, and uh, especially because previously it was a little hard to set up, but now it just works out of the box. Combined with stuff like our new worker builds, where you can just instantly with one click on, like we have a new shiny deploy to Cloudflare button. Uh, it sets up your GitHub and your CI and preview URLs and uh, just so many things out of the box in minutes flat. Uh, that I think was like one of my favorite announcements. The other thing I like is that a lot of interesting people from Cloudflare actually showed up to London this week. We had so many events. We had our developer week celebration, in fact, yesterday. And it was so nice to meet everyone in the community. And in this like remote friendly world, it's really nice when everyone gathers in one place to like celebrate and have a good time. So it's been a wonderful week. There's a lot of feedback on social media, but having this in-person uh, connection uh, also uh, makes it worthwhile, right? Mm -hmm. I, I like working from home, don't get me wrong. Like I get like so much work done and I get to exercise and go for walks and all of that. But I really, really miss the people. Uh, one of the best things about working in Cloudflare is the people, in fact. Uh, everyone's so smart and so friendly. Uh, and especially when we get together, it's uh, just a wonderful, with everyone. Can you explain us to, to us a bit on, you have an agent hat, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. There's more people in the team that have one of those. Why, why, for you, agents is important? What do you think can be built with agents? Uh, I have a very boring explanation for why I think uh, agents are such a big deal. Uh, software was always, uh, software was, is all about automation automation of processes, automation of boarding work, automation of uh, menial work, automation behind the scenes where humans can instead focus on thinking and having more impact. Uh, agents, especially with LLMs and attached to like your own data sources and your own documents and your own internal business processes, uh, finally takes so much of that menial work away from humans and lets them focus on working on the things they actually care about, about their business or like for themselves or building personal AI assistance. And conveniently, cloud, the Cloudflare Workers platform, shout out to Durable Objects, which is a big part of it, has created a platform that's perfect for running these things on the edge platform, literally 20 milliseconds away from you on, well, like I get like 15 millisecond latency here, in fact, in London. Um, it really is a true age of software for a while, it seemed very like hype, uh, like hype generating, uh, but it's actually turning out to be quite, quite useful for individual purposes, but also like automating so many things in your business. Uh, shout out to Matt Silverlock who made the cap. We made a small batch of I think like eight caps, so eight of these have gone out to people right now. Maybe we'll do another batch soon, but right now it's my favorite cap. Uh, in the AI world and the agents world that you're speaking. Is there specifically like things that you, you you spoke about opportunities, but things that you think could be challenging as well in terms of people actually learning before uh, just doing? Uh, is there a challenge that could be there specifically? I keep thinking about it in the terms of, um, don't get me wrong, while I enjoy a good Studio Ghibli generation of my photos, uh, I think humans, uh, the value of human created art and effort is a lot more meaningful. Uh, I think AI and AI agents, for me personally, they aim to remove toil and tedium from human life, um, especially like at work and emails and things like that. Like I really like focusing on creation and innovation and those are things that people are still just way, way better at that. It's going to stay that way for a very, very long time. And no, I actually don't really have a problem of easily spoon-fed information. 
as long as you care enough to verify it so that like your AI has, hasn't hallucinated it. Um, but no, I'm just generally like a big time techno optimist, optimist and I love asking AI to teach me something new every day. If, if you look into the future, where do you think this area, Asians, the, uh, what is enabling? There's a lot of talk about creative people that didn't know how to code, now they don't need to. Mm -hmm. Where do you see that perspective of making building easier going? So I think what it does is it raises both the floor and the ceiling. Like uh, even me, it, like building a website that actually looks nice and feels good and is accessible would take a lot of time because of which I wouldn't even bother making so many projects despite knowing how to code. I've been writing, I've been writing software for 20 years now. And now I get to do it like really quickly and share ideas. What, mean, the, what that means is that the floor is lifted for not just people like me, but also people who haven't been coding or haven't ever coded in their life. Uh, they are able to express their ideas as software and share it across the planet. I think that's important. But it also raises the ceiling because the expectations for software become so much higher in terms of polish, in terms of thought, in terms of intention, in terms of listening to your users' feedback and doing more. And those are things that I don't think AI can solve out of the box, at least not for a, a while. So I think AI and agents, what it does is it definitely raises both the floor, but also the ceiling because of user expectations. Uh, if you had to say one thing about Cloudflare that most people don't realize, but they should, mm -hmm. uh, or the, the Cloudflare developers platform, what would that be? Well, I, four years ago, even though the Cloud Workers platform is more, is, I don't know, about seven years old now, eight years old, I don't remember. I found out about it only four years ago, uh, and I was blown away. And even over the last four years, I think the fact that Cloudflare even has a developer platform was uh, not a very well-known fact. But it seems like that tide is turning. Social media, the way that Cloudflare is telling its story is a lot better I don't know, like we had developer week, but honestly, it feels like we've been shipping for the last two months on a daily basis. I, I don't, I can't keep up. Like every morning I have to go and check like my Twitter to find out what Cloudflare has shipped in the last 24 hours. Um, and we always have people who go into our docs and they're like, oh, you have a browser rendering engine inside Cloudflare workers? That's weird. I thought you just did JavaScript. Uh, oh, you have a vector database? You have a this? So I don't think it's one thing that, would surprise people. It's that it's just such a broad platform with so many features and uh, it's becoming so much more accessible to developers on on a given day. If, if, if there's one thing that I would say, I would recommend people build their weekend or side projects on Cloudflare Workers. It is a wonderful, wonderful platform and the free plan is so generous. In fact, I think that's the thing. I think the Cloudflare free plan is so much more generous than any other provider out there uh, where you can get things to production without ever putting in the credit card uh, uh, credit card number. Uh, so I would recommend trying out your next side project with our unique, extremely cool edge scaling platform with durable objects and AI agents and stuff. Uh, and you would be surprised at all the things you can do without needing to install, like use another third party service. It's crazy. It's quite wild. And just to wrap things up, about the AI age that is called AI age, about agents, uh, what is the thing that you think most people don't realize and they should? One is I, because the models have been getting so, so have been getting better so quickly. I don't think people realize how ready they are for day-to-day -day activities. One of my predictions is that almost. At least every developer, if not every human being, is going to have a little personal AI assistant that they use and talk to by the end of the year. I, one of the other pitches I make is that developers, for the last 10 years, people have been making a website as their side project on weekends. By the end of the year, everyone is going to be making little personal AI assistants by the end of, uh, for themselves. And it's because technology goes through a paradigm shift where it starts off as being expensive and the purview of uh, subject matter experts and billion dollar companies, and they get commodified to the point that hackers, enthusiasts, tinkerers like me can write it in a few lines of code. And I think 
We are almost there. You should use the AI agents SDK to do that. Uh, but I suspect it's going to be so much more widespread and mainstream by the end of the year, simply because the models have gotten good and the infrastructure app layer is like so fun to hack on right now. Would you like to be a young person doing a code and starting things right now? Oh yeah, amazing. It's In fact, uh, I was taught how to use AI code editors by the interns at Cloudflare. Shout out to Dravya. He sat me down and he's like, this is what Cursor is. And I was blown away. Uh, the younger people have such a leg up. They get to, especially because they're born into the style of coding and the capabilities that are there. Uh, I can't imagine how wonderful it must be to be able to play in this space at the moment. It's crazy.